Hello, I'm Lizzie Harper of www.lizzieharper.co.uk and today I've done more tests on different hot press watercolour papers. There's been a lot of trouble recently because my old favourite Fabriano Artistico and Fabriano Classico has a slightly different manufacturing process going on and it's meant that the paper I used to rely on is not what it once was. So I've been looking for alternatives. In today's film we're going to be testing a paper called Fluid 100, Claire Fontaine, some Windsor & Newton medium surface cartridge paper, Strathmore Imperial, the old Fabriano and the new Fabriano. So let's see how we get on. So, what are my feelings about the Claire Fontaine paper? Well, the paper feels slightly rough to the touch. I like it to feel much smoother. It's very good for pencil. This shows up well. You can rub it out nicely. It holds crisp lines in graphite and in watercolour. Uh, when you put different layers of watercolour on top of each other, the layers underneath, they don't slide off the page. Um, and it blots nicely for a, for a wash area. It blots very nicely. It feels very absorbent and it does hold detail well but to me it feels a bit too soft and I also feel that somehow the colours are slightly muted so I'm not sure what that's about. So it's okay but it's not brilliant. Next up we're going to test the Windsor & Newton medium surface cartridge paper. So this is the test of the Winter and Newton medium surface cartridge. Um, it takes colour really well, it takes pencil well, it's nice to draw on. It feels a bit textured, which I don't normally like, um, but it painted really well. It didn't move detail with subsequent washes. The colours were nice and intense. Um, when you tried to do a loose wash and then blot it, it worked really well. Um, yeah, and it was very smooth to work on, which surprised me when I looked at it. The only problem for me is when it came to scanning, you could um, the texture and the slight dullness of the colour of the page meant the scans were brilliant. So I won't be able to use it for um, published work. But yeah, it's a nice alternative. It's certainly worth um, having a try. So, this one is Strathmore Imperial, and when I looked at it, it's got quite a texture, so I thought, oh my gosh, this isn't going to work at all. But in fact, 
it worked really well. It was really nice for the watercolours. It kept them really vibrant and held detail. It didn't blur. And when you put subsequent layers down, it took that. Um, it wasn't so good for working in graphite, I guess, because the pages, the paper slightly soft. You couldn't get the crisp edges that I'm looking for. When it rubbed out, it did leave dents, which was a bit of a shame. So that wasn't going to work for me. Um, yeah, it felt it was really good for painting, but no, not no good for graphite. And I like a watercolor paper to be good at both. But again, I would say go out there, try some Strathmore Imperial. It's not a bad option at all. Okay, so I thought since I've been babbling on about Fabriano so much, I ought to put it through its paces. This is the new Fabriano, Fabriano Artistico, new batch. And this is what I've been trying to work on. And I just don't, I just don't really enjoy it anymore. So you can draw on it, you can do pencil line, you can paint on it. The colours remain true. Um, it feels nice to work on. It deals very well with background washes and things. My problem with it, and I'm not quite sure what it is, my problem is that when you come to do details, you'll be fine for one or two layers of paint and then suddenly you'll go in with a top wash or something and the whole thing becomes murky. It's not even that it blurs, it just suddenly becomes terribly dark and all the areas of definition that you're looking to make crisper, in fact, become less and less crisp. Um, and that's what's driven me mad about the old Fabriano. So it was a bit of a, a, bit of a heartbreak working on it again and actually being able to put into words my problems with it. So for me, Fabriano Artistico, the new batch, it's just not where it's at. And here we have a very carefully preserved sheet of the old style Fabriano. I only have this hanging around, in fact, because it's got a crane fly drawn up on the other side. Um, so I put this one, my old Fabriano, through its 
paces and it was like getting into a warm bath again or coming home. It felt amazing. I, I know what it does. It's what I learned to paint on. It's the, the paper that I learned the techniques I use on. It was so comfortable and it was just lovely. Um, you know, I, I just can't fault it. But it no longer exists. So what's a girl to do? We've still got to find an alternative. Now I'm properly excited. So this is Fluid 100. So I tried the Fluid before in an earlier video, uh, check them all out on YouTube, and that just the page skidded about off the page, it was no use. So the manufacturers sent me this to trial, which is Fluid 100, which is pure cotton. It's great! I really, really like it. So graphite work, you get really involved and not lose any detail. You can rub it out, the paper doesn't dent. It's incredibly smooth to work on, but not squeaky. When it came to using the paint, it took the tiniest of brush strokes, held them, didn't blur them. It was true to the colours. Um, it kept vibrancy. I did oh, lots of different bits of detail and subsequent washes. And the subject is sage. It's quite a difficult green to work with, so it's not like I was doing the paper any favours by testing this one. Even with the washes, it did it. It was great. Fluid 100. It is currently manufactured, and for me, it really, really is brilliant. This was an epiphany, and I am just so relieved that this paper exists. Thank you so much for watching this, my third YouTube video comparing alternative hot press papers for botanical illustration work. Um, all the papers I looked at today were really doable, awful lot better than the last two batches that I've tested, um, and my conclusion, for me, is Fluid 100 is a very, very real alternative, and I'm really pleased with it. Um, I would say, with all of these tests and things, it's a very personal matter. So, you as an individual will have very different wants and requirements from your paper, so do test them yourself. Just because I say it works for me, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. But for me, the quest for an alternative to um, Fabriano is over. There's Fluid 100, and as backup, Arches Hot Press, Moulin du Roy, and Stonehenge Aqua. That's four alternatives I'm happy to work with. Thank you for watching my video, and for more of my examples of my work, please go and visit www.lizzieharper.co.uk, where you'll find a written blog with photos of these tests.